Hey everybody, I'm Luke with Big Kids Toys. Thanks for tuning in. Today we are talking about tips for building your stereo system. Could be a brand new system, or maybe you already have one component and you're trying to build everything around it. Building your stereo system should be a lot of fun, right? That's what this whole hobby is about, is about having fun and make sure every time you turn that volume up, you're enjoying yourself. With that being said, there are still steps in the process. There's planning that needs to be done to make sure that your system matches what you like. Unfortunately, we don't all have an unlimited budget to build the best stereo system in the world. That's fine. Here at Big Kids Toys, whenever we're thinking about bringing in a new product, we look at how much it costs and the performance performance that it adds. That is that is the end all be all for us. If it sounds really good, but it's $100 million, probably not coming in here. If it's $20,000, but it gives us $50,000 worth of enjoyment, that's the speaker that we're gonna buy. So in any basic stereo system, you're gonna have speakers, you're gonna have your electronics, which in most cases, integrate amp, preamp, or standalone amplifier, and you're also gonna need a source. So establishing your budget and looking at all, the, all three of those things, that's where planning is so, so important. Now, if you're starting from scratch, the best thing to do is decide what speakers you're gonna buy. What we always say is speakers are worth 90% of your sound. Okay, you need to match the speakers to the room. If you have too small of a speaker in a huge room, everything is gonna sound lifeless. If you have too big of a speaker in a small room, everything is gonna be boomy, you're not gonna get the detail that you want, sound stage is gonna be totally off. So taking a look at your room, deciding where your speakers are gonna be placed on the wall, deciding where your listening chair is gonna be, all that is critical. Now in my experience, too little emphasis is placed on sources. Now when I say sources, I'm talking about the way that your music is stored. CDs, music servers, vinyl. Um, in this case, we're talking about turntables, phono stages, uh, DACs, CD players. Those are the sources that are actually playing your music. My coworker has a funny saying that he taught me early when I started working for him. He says, Luke, crap in, crap out. So. <laughs> His point being that you can have the best preamp and amplifier, a beautiful sounding pair of speakers, but if your source isn't well built, if it doesn't sound good, if it doesn't have a good DAC or your turntable isn't set up properly, it doesn't matter. Your, your speakers can't fix that. You gotta make sure that your source is providing a well-balanced signal to your preamp or integrated amp. So when it comes to electronics, integrated amps are a great one chassis solution. Um, over the past, I don't know, 20, 30 years, they become more powerful. They are extremely well built. Power supplies are becoming much more isolated from the rest of the integrated amp. So there's no jitter being introduced into the signal. Separate preamps and amplifiers are still the best solution for any audio file stereo system. Having a separate preamp that can control and attenuate the volume, separating the input signal from the big power supply and the amplifier definitely provides the speaker the cleanest signal. Some people tend to, you know, put a percentage about what, you know, 50% of my budget should go towards speakers and 25 towards electronics and yada, yada, yada. I think that's simplifying it a little bit too much. If you have a small room where you can only fit, let's say, let's say a speaker like the, the Totem Tribe Tower, right? It's meant for a small room but this is an audiophile grade speaker right here. It is, it is pheno has phenomenal imaging. If your room can't fit bigger speakers, it makes sense to spend more on electronics. You'll potentially get more power to the speakers as well as better control in the bass and mid bass. Better preamps and amps can add more depth to your system and also allow better imaging and soundstage from your speakers. If you can't get a bigger speaker in your room, you'll be just fine. Focus on electronics and making sure you have a good pairing a good synergy between your speakers, your preamp, and your amplifier. Now, lastly, one thing that we recommend to every single customer pretty much that comes into our showroom, plan on buying a subwoofer. There are very, very, very few speakers in the world that are truly full range. And there's a reason why companies like Magico make subwoofers, even though they make speakers that, you know, go down to 24 Hertz. When you're in a living room, you're sitting down in a listening chair, you're not gonna get the bass response that you get in a lab, right? You need a subwoofer to cover the low end. Subwoofers add depth that the best speakers in the world can't reproduce. Rel in particular 
does a wonderful job at making musical subwoofers. Um, they're not like other companies out there that sound like a car is driving down the street and just blasting a bass in the, in the back of their trunk. When set up properly, they blend right in with your speakers so you don't even know where it's at in the room. The cool thing about RHEL is they make musical subwoofers that start at $499 with the RHEL T0. They go all the way up to their reference level products that are brand new, just released last week, the number 31 and number 32. These RELs are made for the best speakers in the world. Now the cool thing about RHEL is that it's so easy to add two subwoofers. Adding one subwoofer to a stereo system will absolutely change the way you listen to music. Adding two is an entirely new level. Balancing bass on both sides of the room is so critical. We always recommend adding two subwoofers if the budget will allow. If the budget can only do one, we understand, but you wanna have two subwoofers, trust me. So remember, the most important part of building a stereo system, revamping your older stereo system, make sure you have a plan. It'll save you money in the long run. It'll allow you to have more fun while you're listening to your music. Please reach out if you have any questions. We're happy to help you you talk through some of the decisions, even if it's products we don't carry, we're always happy to help customers build a new system so they can have fun like we do every day. Thanks for watching everybody. Be on the lookout for our newsletter in the next few days. We'll talk to you soon.